Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your first replet. So if you see this is my interface, I've logged in already. If you do not know how to log in, you have to see the video in before this one in my playlist. Okay, so you can see on the left side here, there is a button called create REPL. Click on that one. Now you have to choose your language of choice from this list here. Ours is C sharp. And let's name this file as test. And then we just say create REPLET. So when we create a REPL, it creates a basic image for us to work with. So what you can do right now is click on this run button. So you get boilerplate co code that normally it's the um, custom in IT to first program be written as hello world. So according to this custom, the boilerplate code says console.writeline hello world. So this comes to you every time you create a C sharp program and choose that as your template. This is the code that will be generated for you. So I'm running the code now, it's taking a while. Uh, what we can do is, uh, on the left side here, you can see all the files. So the CS project, this project file has a lot of uh, internal, um, what do you say, internal settings, configuration. You can see here the program name is program. So inside you will have program as your name, the, as the entry point, this is the entry point. It tells you that it is going to produce an executable right here, an exe.exe file. And then it is telling you that it is using the Netcore app 7.0. That is the version of your software. Okay, while we were exploring this, we can see that the run produced an output here in the console window. Hello world. Now let's change this because our program is test. I'm going to say hello world test. Let's rerun this program. So when you run the program, it creates an executable behind the scene and then runs that executable to produce the output. So that is what happens. Let us say you do a lot of run here and you want to clear this log. You can see that there is a clear history, little uh, garbage can there. You can click on that. It will clear your screen. There is another button here on top. It's called invite, so you could invite somebody to collaborate with you on that particular code. Okay, now you can see it took a little while, but uh, it was able to accomplish that. So we get the new output called hello world test. So now we know that our code is good. This is the time that you check this, take this link up there like that. Copy that link and paste that in your submission so I can review it. Uh, in terms of invitation, when you say invite, so you can say private join link and then you can say the copy join link and you could put that so I can actually go into your code and see what's going on. So I would suggest that you do this, uh, send me a join copy link every time you submit your project so that if there is any problem, I can go in and put comments in your code, you know, directly where you're ha having problems and then we can go from there. Okay, so let's close that now uh, and then I think that's basically what it is all about. So just this week is all about testing things out. Understand your IDE. On the left is the files pane. Like I said, you have the main.cs, main.cs proj. This is the JSON that again having the dependency of the .NET 7.0 version. The rest of the things we don't have to worry about. There are Netflix, sorry. There are replic configuration files here. We don't have to worry about them. The entry point is program. So if you change the name of this, it's going to be a problem. So don't do that. And then your output is always going to be in the console. I hope you find this useful. See you in another video shortly. Thank you.